In 2012, astronomers made an incredible discovery that left us all in awe. They found the very first planet with rings located outside of our own solar system, a superworld with a halo 200 times larger than Saturn, called J1407b. The size of this exoplanet's rings is so immense that if this planet were located within our solar system, its expansive rings would dominate the sky. We could see the rings at dusk with our own eyes and camera phones. One more fascinating thing about J1407b is that its massive ring takes a staggering two months to pass in front of its parent star. This enormous size of the ring not only astonishes us, but also challenges what we thought we knew about planets and their rings. But hold on a moment. Some recent research has brought a surprising twist to what we believed about this particular planet. Recent findings suggest that this planet might not be what we initially thought, and there's even doubt emerging about whether the planet truly exists. Scientists, based on this new evidence, are starting to argue that both the planet and its impressive ring system might not actually exist. So, what's going on here? How could what we see through our telescope not exist? If this is true, then what exactly is the giant ring-like structure we saw? Generally, scientists follow the transit method to find planets outside our solar system. One of these transit-searching observatories is called SuperWASP. From 2005 to 2008, scientists using the SuperWASP telescope were studying a nearby star called J1407, located 451 light-years from Earth in the constellation Centaurus. For two years, the star acted normally, changing brightness by a few percent every 3.2 days, showing that is a fast rotating star. Then in the middle of 2007, the star did something very unusual. Over the period of two months, the star faded away, brightened back up to normal, faded almost completely away for a week, and then reversed this pattern before going back to normal. When the star faded away, it did so very, very quickly. Over one night, the light from the star dropped by more than 50%. What could cause such a thing to happen? Professor Eric Mamajek of the University of Rochester in the United States showed this data to several scientists to understand what could possibly be causing this mysterious dimming. Scientists suggested several possible ideas as to what was happening. The only explanation we could think of that made sense was that we were seeing a load of small rings sitting inside bigger rings, such as those around Saturn, moving between us and the star. Given how quickly the star faded and brightened up gave us an idea of how fast these rings were moving and multiplying this speed by the number of days we saw the star flickering, gave us an idea of the size of the rings, which is about 180 million kilometers in diameter. These rings would be as large as the orbit of Venus around the Sun. This was incredible. But where were these rings? Were they around the star? No. The simplest explanation was that there was an unseen planet orbiting at a large distance around the host star, and that these rings were around this unseen planet named J1407b. The rings of this planet are estimated to span an extraordinary distance of approximately 200 times larger than Saturn's rings. Professor Kenworthy said the planet itself was probably about 10 to 40 times the mass of Jupiter, J1407, and its planet are about 16 million years old, which makes it an infant in terms of stellar age. The Sun and Earth are 4.5 billion years old. This is the first time somebody's seen such a giant ring system outside the solar system, any ring structure at all around what we think is a planet. But wait, new evidence about this system has shocked scientists. Many scientists are now claiming that this planet and its giant rings are not actually real. Then what is it? And what new evidence has revealed about this ringed planet? Well, previously scientists had estimated J1407b's orbital period to be around 3.5 to 13.8 years, 
but that planet has not been observed since its transit in 2007. Some scientists suggest that it may be on a highly eccentric orbit around the star. But this still does not solve the problem as to why the planet did not appear again. Even as scientists looked at data from 1890 to 1990, they found no other transits before 2007, nor in recent time series photometry from 2012, 2018. It's quite odd. Despite patiently observing for so many years, the planet didn't show up again. Even when scientists checked the old data, there was no hint of the planet passing in front of the star before 2007. This brings up a significant question. Does this planet truly exist? Could the thing that moved in front of the star in 2007 be something else that we might have misinterpreted as a ringed planet? Indeed, scientists have proposed a new theory that's turning out to be even more astonishing than the idea of a massive ringed planet. According to this new explanation, what we witnessed in 2007 might have been an extremely rare cosmic event, one of those extraordinary occurrences that happens only once in a million. Scientists are now claiming that it could be a rogue brown dwarf. Rogue brown dwarfs are not bound to any star or planetary system. Instead, they wander through space on their own without orbiting any star like planets do in our solar system. These wandering brown dwarfs drift through the galaxy, sometimes coming relatively close to stars or planets without being part of any specific stellar system. And in this case, the rogue brown dwarf came between Earth and the star J1407. But how can we explain the giant rings? Well, they're not rings, but protoplanetary disks around the rogue brown dwarf. A protoplanetary disk is a rotating circumstellar disk of dense gas and dust surrounding a young, newly formed star. The presence of a protoplanetary disk around the wandering brown dwarf might be the reason behind the strange dimming of the star. At the moment, it's just a hypothesis, but if we don't see that ring planet again, this could be the most likely explanation for what we observed. If this brown dwarf theory is right, then we just witnessed an incredibly rare event. Because this rogue brown dwarf won't come back since it's not bound to the star. Such an exceptional cosmic occurrence happens only once in millions of years. And fortunately, we happen to look at the right star at precisely the right time when the rogue brown dwarf passed in front of it. Yet, there have also been unconventional suggestions, like the possibility of alien megastructures. But this explanation might be our best bet if the theory of the giant ringed planet turns out to be incorrect. But scientists still haven't given up on the ringed planet's return. They're patiently waiting to see when the rings start rotating in front of the star again, signaling the beginning of a two-month-long ring rotation in front of the star. Lastly, I would like to thank all my loyal followers for your extraordinary support during my journey. It is you guys who have really encouraged me to do better and better. Thanks for all your support. Also, don't forget to comment your thoughts about this mysterious cosmic phenomenon. Thank you for your time. Happy New Year.